Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Hope you're all doing good. If you're seeing me for the first time, welcome. My name is Malvika and I am a mommy of two. In this channel, I will be helping you gear through motherhood, parenting and baby care with confidence and ease. So if you have a toddler or an infant at home or if you find my videos entertaining and useful, make sure you hit the subscribe button and press the bell notification nearby so that you will quickly be notified when I post a new video every time. So without wasting much time, let's jump right into the video. I am going to show you guys how to make a baby wrap with just a cotton sari. After my second son was born, I did a lot of research to get a new ergonomic carrier for him but most of the brands had an age limit of 4 months and up and the remaining brands which did offer a newborn carrier turned out to be so expensive. So that's when I looked for ways to make one of my own. I saw a few YouTube videos, researched a bit and tried to make one and it was a huge success. The best part is you don't have to spend a penny and you can use this for your infant too. Wait for a couple of weeks after birth. Once you are comfortable holding and carrying your baby the right way, then begin to use the carrier. So without wasting much time, let's see how to do it. So first take a cotton sari and pleat it like we generally do while wearing a sari. Now find the center part of the sari and once you do that, place that part of the sari against your tummy. Now make an X from behind and put them on either side of your shoulders. If you choose a sari with a border, then it will be easier to figure out the two edges of the sari and remember to make the X without any folds and turns because later on when you wear the baby, the twisted and folded portion of the sari might make it uncomfortable for you or for your baby. This might be a little tricky initially, but once you do it a few times, you will get used to it. And yes guys, please practice as much as possible with a soft toy before you actually place your baby in it. Now bring both the ends to the front and insert them into the already placed midpoint of the sari. Let's again make an X now and if the sari is short then you can make a knot in the back side itself but if you have a long sari you can go one more round bring it in the front and then tie a knot. Before you actually tie the knot make sure there is enough space so that your baby can get in easily without any discomfort. You can loosen the sides a little bit if you want and then make the knot. You can turn and check if the folds are right in front of a mirror and once it's done, now is the main step. It's time to bring in our baby. First, figure out where the inner portion of the X is and then insert your baby's leg from that side. Pull up the folds gradually till it covers your baby's body and now it's time for the other leg. If you have a newborn then you obviously will be doing this for the first time and your child might be fidgeting a little bit. If that's the case you can try to rock, move around and make your baby comfortable before you force him into this. Thank you. 
Once this step is completed, your baby will be happy, his legs will be stable and snug. And if you happen to wear any chains with a big pendant, make sure you put it behind you so that it doesn't hurt the baby. Now let's move over to the final step. Take the part of the sari that's in the midpoint and insert both your baby's legs into it. This step will give your baby extra protection. Like I said, it will be easy for you if you had chosen a sari with a border, you can easily find the edge and pull it up. Pull it up nicely and there you go, the wrap is ready. One main thing to note here is the position of your baby's head. It should be close enough for you to bend a little and kiss him. See, this is the right way to do it. After doing this, your baby's butt should be comfortably placed and it should feel rounded and the legs should almost be in the shape of an M. This is what we call an ergonomic position. Now if your baby fell asleep, then see whichever side his face is facing, take the sari from the opposite side and cover the head. Removing the wrap is more or less the same. One important point to note is whenever you do it, make sure one of your hands is always on your baby's neck supporting it. Slowly and gently take your baby's legs one by one outside and do the process exactly the reverse order in whichever you put the baby in. And there you go guys, that's how you make a baby wrap with just a cotton sari. I hope this video was useful to all of you. If yes, please make sure to subscribe to my channel, smash the like button too. If you have any queries, please feel free to contact me on the comment section below or you can DM me on Instagram. I will also add the link to my Instagram ID in the description box below for you guys. So until next time, bye bye.